This is Ethan from FindingPeaceWithJesus.org. There's the cat. Um, I just was coming home from work on the bus. Um, today is Tuesday, the 21st of August. Um, obviously, I listen stuff, right, podcast. Um, I was listening to the Kapow Radio Network. They have a Monday show. And of course, they have the Freedom Friday show where you learn all the bad things going on in the world. Um, but they do Bible studies on Mondays. And I was on my way home listening to it. Introducing the biblical Jesus. And I just wanted to go through this with everybody of what the Lord showed me. Now let's look at the word. Um, I'm, God was putting something in stone for me that I fully comprehended a, a while back with my study with the idea of the flat earth and where it came from. But before that became the true heliocentric model, which is lie from the pit of hell. We're supposed to, the Bible believers are supposed to believe in a geocentric model. And that includes the proof inside the Bible, which proves that the world doesn't move. And we're not flying through space. So I've been studying that and thinking about for a long time. And once the Lord shows me something, that I get a piece about it and I can move on. But I just want to go through this real quick. Uh, looking at the... Gospel of John. And now what they read. Miss Kapow read. I have a hard time going through this. Now I wanted to go through it. She started, Mrs. Kapow started reading the Gospel according to John because they've been in the other small books of John 1, 2, and 3 but they went into this last night I guess yesterday but I got to listen to it this morning so I just want to go through just right here as she read in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. Now we understand that, and as I'm, as she was reading that, now me and Michael have been going back and forth, so when we read that, and what does the word do? It fulfills all these things. So when you go through the beginning, that was the beginning of the New Testament, and this is the beginning of the Old Testament, where it goes through Genesis. And in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 
And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Now as we go along this, we can obviously understand as we continue what was going on. You know, God, right before your eyes, you're reading about God creating everything. Where we live, but most importantly, as what we experience every second of the day, is time. Now he created the sun and the moon, the greater to rule the day and the lesser to rule the night. And he created the heavens, he created the stars. So why he created them, because there was light already. You read in the beginning of Genesis, there was light. Because he was that light. And he still is that light. And of course that light, you go through the Gospel of John, you read in the beginning the words I just read. He was that light. Jesus was the light and still is the light. So when everything gets cast aside and the moon and the sun get destroyed, he'll still be that light. And that's all we'll have. But the reason I bring up the sun and the moon is he created the world but since he created the sun and the moon, he created times and seasons. Because the sun and the moon, it's the, it's the sun and the moon. It's, it's, I want you to fully understand this. And I don't know what I did with my clock. And I'm going to show you on here. Now God showed you times and seasons. Now there's the clock. Now if you look at the small hand or the big hand, you can imagine the sun being on the edge of one and the moon being on the edge of the other one. And you're watching as the day progresses, as the sun moves, along the face of the earth and the moon follows it makes perfect sense right but it's hard to comprehend you can only truly comprehend with the Lord so when you look at what I'm saying to you that was extra. God wasn't talking about that this morning with me. But to fully understand what I read, and I was, I was sitting on the bus as Mrs. Kapow was reading the verses from John, the Gospel of John in the beginning of chapter 1, I felt such a peace But at the same time, it was almost like a comprehension of what I knew. There's only this world. There's only one God, right? So there's nothing else there. There's no other planets. We're not flying through space. Because the Bible proves that. We're not moving. We will be shaken. The earth will shake at the end. 
but the earth is stationary. So as she was reading these verses, I got such a peace and I fully comprehended that this is it. The earth is it. It's our world. God created it. And of course, what I've fully realized when I started looking at the idea of the flat earth, you, you continue reading in Genesis, the next verse after what I just read, he created a firmament. And the firmament protects us. And everything is in the firmament. So what does that mean? All the stars or inside the firmament and the sun and the moon or if you go on my web page talking about Yahweh's clock that's what it is and this morning I got that peace of what I've been looking at and what everybody fights about. Just like the Bible, everybody wants to take the word and complicate it. There's no complication. God created the world. It's really simple. I, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just I wanted to keep it for myself. And that's why I felt I needed to record this. But like I said, the, the everlasting peace... You know, people don't want to comprehend, comprehend this. But if you look at it, it, it makes perfect sense. It's right there. You see the sun. You see the moon. It's a clock. This is what everybody presents and what is known as the flat earth map the AE map so you can look it up this is the map that's on the UN flag and it was hiding right in front of our face so comprehending this it's so amazing and I just thinking about it I felt such a peace so when God takes the sun and the moon out of the picture and he destroys them what will happen he'll destroy time so think about that in the beginning he created time for us just for us, just for this, this world, this earth. So when you comprehend that, I know I'm jumping around because I want to fully under you understand that. Okay, so what, if that's the case, it, it's very simple. Ready? That's where we are. It's a globe now. It's the flat earth. It's the dome. It's the firmament. So this is... If we could fully comprehend what we could understand... That this is our world... 
the sun goes around the earth and the moon goes around the earth and it's time it's keeping track of time so there's nothing else God is in heaven the earth is its footstool right on top of here and what is on top of the earth that's the North Star that's Pleiades so he's sitting on top of the dome he sits on top of the dome and you see what this does this is a magnifying glass I bought and see how it magnifies because when God's sitting on us on the dome he can everything is magnified to him so when you look he can see everything Jesus it's it's very simple Jesus was taken to the highest peak Satan took him there and he could see everything he could see everything I wasn't planning on doing this, but I guess he wanted me to show you this. And it's, it's amazing. Because when Jesus comes back, every eye will see him. How is that possible? I fought that for a long time. How would that be possible? I've, you see all these movies? Oh, it can be done. Everything's on TV. So everybody, everybody's seen Jesus come back because they're all watching TV. That's not going to happen. Every eye will see him because we live on this sh disc we live on the flat earth all you have to do is do the research it's very simple it's very simple so when you look at that as I comprehend and comprehend this that the earth it's a clock it's very simple And God keeps perfect time. So there's no mistake when He's going to come back. It's His timing. So when you fully comprehend that, what I just showed you, I don't know why it went in that whole thing, just to prove another point, I guess. It's what He wants. But what it comes down to, like I said, when I was reading those verses and hearing those verses and just coming home and reading them now to fully comprehend that everybody wants to complicate everything. God is right above us on top of the dome. The earth is his footstool. And he loves us and he's just looking down and seeing what fools we are. I'm just, I was just amazed and I wanted to share it, but obviously he's adding to it. That's fine, because he's the master. We're just the clay and he's molding us. And that's the whole thing too, is you, if you throw it on the potter's wheel, the clay, it's, it's the flat surface, it's the flat circular surface <laughs> I'm just amazed I don't know why he was showing me this today but like I said I got a calm peace so I started thinking about it on the bus and I'm like okay well if that's possible which it is because he's, he's showing me I try to dispute it 
automatically. Well, if that's if that's the case, if the other planets exist, there's life on these other planets. Guess what? That means every 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 world has a Bible of their own. You know what that means? That's that's a false gospel. That's that's the gospel of the Mormons that we can become gods of our own planet. So God's like, no. It's just us. He gave us stars to look at originally to navigate. When we we're sailing on the seas originally, right? He guarded our way. We use the constellations to get from A to B. God is so amazing. So, I might put this on. I might not on YouTube. But I just want to say it for myself and and get a comprehension of what he's been showing me. And that's why he gave me peace when I was on the bus. Of I don't even need to think about it anymore. He created our world. And that's it. There's nothing else. Let me ask you. If what we're taught in school is true, that we're in a solar system, and the sun is in the middle and everything's revolving around the sun, all the, all the planets, right, our solar system, as it's flying through space forever. Because that's what science says. That's not my God. That's not the God that I believe in. What I just talked about, that's God. That's a loving, loving God. Go to FindingPeaceWithJesus.org and there's a lot of pa pages on uh, the flat earth stuff. But most importantly, I'm not trying to convince you of the flat earth. Now, it was a Sunday, me and Michael talked about spiritual things and of course of, our, of the little children. God loves us because we're all his children, but most importantly, we're the bride of Christ. So we gotta ha be clean without spot or blemish. Else we ain't gonna be a part of the, the wedding feast. This is the word. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Do you fully believe in the Word? Do you believe in the one who created the Word? Do you believe who is the Word? Because it's all the same thing. Jesus loves you. And He just wants us right and to understand fully what we need to believe. And what we need to believe is in this book. The Bible is the only book that comes with its author. You know why? Because we're supposed to have the indwelling Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit gives us truth. God is truth. We can't believe in what denominations say because they tell us the spiritual gifts don't exist no more. I'm sorry if the spiritual gifts don't exist no more, we're in serious trouble. 
because the Holy Spirit is not active in us, we're done. Like I keep saying, that if we don't have that full armor of God on, we are naked going into battle and we will be destroyed. So we have the armor. We have the spiritual gifts. We're supposed to do deliverance to get us clean, to become pure, and we have the Holy Spirit use us. Because when you don't have the Holy Spirit, this book don't mean anything. We're supposed to read it and pray and meditate. And how do we do that with no Holy Spirit guiding us? Men would guide us and to throw us into death. But praise God, if you're a biblical person, if you're a true Bible believer, you will have the indwelling Holy Spirit and He will guide you to truth. If you're listening to this message, this is Him speaking truth. God is so amazing. You just gotta be quiet and have that still small voice talk to you. Through His grace we have been saved. all you need to understand this is Ethan from FindingPeaceWithJesus.com <laughs> FindingPeaceWithJesus.org sorry you gotta understand that he will never leave us or forsake us but we gotta understand who he is and letting him in to move in our life Please, I say it in the beginning of the videos every time, got to put that armor on. Because without armor, we face destruction. And we're in a, our world. It's just all you have to do is turn on the news. Shootings every day. Family members, parents destroying their children. Because Satan is running the world. The demons are everywhere. But as true Bible believers, we're supposed to cast out the demons. Suit up, we're in a war. <laughs>